Oh, I just missed the bite, but I just hooked a really nice fish. <laughs> and he just came up and hit it, and I totally missed it because we we're about to leave. Today we are sight fishing for redfish. We're trying to look for flats around the Charleston area. We're going to explore some areas we've never been. It's been a really long day. We managed to find some fish. I'm going to show you some of the things I'm doing at the end of this video because it is winter. In January can be tough to fish in Charleston, but I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks that'll help you out. So stay tuned. Let's get started right now. All right guys, so today I am fishing with my seven foot six medium heavy toe fish rod. I also have a lighter toe fish that I'm gonna fish with to try to use a shrimp, something a little bit lighter or potentially a Ned rig. We're back in an area in a creek that I've never been at. We've been able to just look on areas using Google Maps after the wind blew us off where we were going. So we're just looking for our first fish of the day here. And I'm using a 3 16th Texas eye, chartreuse eye with bad shad and shrimp procure. And that's what I'm just gonna throw. So far, it's been a lot of driving and not seeing anything. And uh, so yeah, that's, that's the goal. So today we are doing our best to find them. Not seeing a single trout. There's a third one over here somewhere. There's two in there, about the same size. You don't think they're there? Where I, I can't even see. Oh yeah, I see him. Hold on, I'm coming on the other side of you. Yep. Did he turn? Yeah, towards it. Oh, he, he might have turned. On yours? He's sitting right there. No, on yours. I mean, well, we know they're back here. Yeah. I mean, we could definitely come back here again, don't you? Oh, you want me to one more time? Yeah. Okay. Man, you were like almost hitting the one in the face. And it didn't do anything? No, he just sat there. I think we spooked him, honestly. Do you see any? Mm -hmm. they're, they're back in here somewhere. My guess is that they're... Oh, I just missed the bite, but I just hooked a really nice red fish. <laughs> We've been sight fishing for him. And there he is. You have a net? <laughs> so I'm just using a bad shad Z-Man on a Texas eye and these guys are staged up on a flat. Oh, they're beautiful too. And he just came up and hit it and I totally missed it because we we're about to leave. Oh. I guess that makes it worth it, huh? Let him run a little bit. Get, get out of there. Oh yeah. That's not good. He's stuck in there. I don't know if I can turn him. Well, for the day we've had, this is crazy. <laughs> One fish, we've been seeing them. There's a group of them back here at school. 
I mean, he's like nose up in this thing. There we go. Oh, he's all the way in the grass. I'm dragging my stick. I can't believe they hit after we've been back here. Dang, I wish I had my camera rolling, but I thought we were about to leave. We were, we were <laughs> leaving. I mean, that was pretty much like desperation toss there. Desperation station. I know I'm in the, I mean I'm all the way in the weeds and I only got 10 pound leader on so he's hooked right in the front got him yeah first ever sight fished red all right I definitely need pictures after everything that we went through today for that right there where right behind us. let me see oh man he's big we don't want oh yeah that's a nice one on the toadfish do you know how to oh my god i can't believe we did that holy moly what a day oh yeah he's pretty he's a that's a beautiful red on artificial z-man bad shad Ooh. texas i uh, 3 16th on the toe fish, 7.6 medium heavy, multiple spot red. Yeah. <laughs> Man, thank goodness. Been out here all day and finally found them staged up. I watched him eat too, I just didn't get it on camera. So we're looking at 24. Let's see this here. 23 is over. He's over slot, barely, 24 inches. So there we go. All right, we're gonna, can you get that other camera? Yeah, and turn it on. Maybe we can get this release. Yeah. We started off at a big flat that I know there's a bunch of redfish at and there's gonna be tons of drone footage and then there's this and you're gonna see the struggle to get just a couple of redfish to hit. It's been cold, it's been windy, but uh, man, that was, I wish I had the camera rolling, but we were ready, literally leaving. That was the last cast. So you can see the water through the videos. We're seeing the fish. We can never ever do that here in the summer. It's very rare. It's a really cool thing to try to sight fish for the redfish. So we found the location they're at and then we actually couldn't get them to hit. And then we caught them without even knowing where they were at. That was awesome. I wish I'd have had the camera on. I had to catch it mid fight. Sorry that you guys missed the hook set. All right, so I would recommend some kind of pro cure in the winter. Here I have just a massive bottle of shrimp and then I have um, some blue crab. Inshore scent has been catching fish too. This is gonna help you. It's gonna make the fish feed a little bit more aggressively. And the scent is really important this time of the year when they're a little bit slower. I would go with 10 pound leader like I did today and go three feet instead of two. It's it's gonna, the clear water makes it a lot tougher to have heavier poundage leader because the fish can see it easier. So downgrading a little bit is gonna catch more fish. And I don't have a special brand. I just have the 10 pound and the dial. But it's, that's something I would do. Like I like a natural looking paddle tail right now. So I have Bad Shad, it's a really popular Z-Man. I got it on a 316 Texas Eye. I just paired it with the green. There were bait fish that were this size when we were there today. Um, I like a lot of people down in Charleston this time of the year like the white and the blue. I've caught fish on that before. This is a color I've been told is really, really good around here. Um, and so you want to put those on a Ned head, a Ned rig. So you can see I got this whole binder from the release over 20 event. So that's just a Ned rig. And it's just going to go on the bottom and you can bounce it. You can reel it in slow. It doesn't matter, but it gets it down. But I will say, don't get frustrated this time of the year. We were frustrated pretty much all day. And at the end of the day, we ended up finally hooking into some fish. Hard time to fish, so don't get frustrated. So It's been a crazy day. It's been, we go to a spot and we find a huge school of them. Don't even get to cast to them because the wind knocked us off our spot. I'll show a little bit of that. You can hear the wind behind me. So this might turn into some tips and tricks videos. And then to come here and actually finish the day with one, I can't be too upset and there's great drone footage. So thank you guys. As always, subscribe, like, comment. I'll see you guys next week. Everything is so clear.